Hello, in this video we are going to review transfusion related acute lung injury, also known as trolley. Trolley is a severe life threatening reaction characterized by symptoms associated with acute respiratory distress syndrome, such as fever, chills, dyspnea, cyanosis, and hypotension. Pulmonary edema occurs secondary to leakage of protein rich fluid into the alveolar space. It most often begins one to two hours after transfusion, but can occur up to six hours after transfusion. Trolley is clinically diagnosed without specific diagnostic tests. Rather, it is a diagnosis of exclusion. Three main conditions need to be differentiated from trolley. Anaphylactic transfusion reaction, where there is no symptoms of fever or pulmonary edema. Second is transfusion associated circulatory overload or TACO. Uh, with TACO, there, it's a cardiac syndrome, whereas trolley is not. And in TACO, there will be hypertension and in trolley, there will be hypotension. Also, TAC corresponds well to diuretics, where, uh, whereas trolley will not respond to diuretics or even cause some problems. Transfusion re and transfusion-related sepsis has to be ruled out. In sepsis, there is no usual symptoms. There is no usual symptoms of respiratory distress. So trolley is associated with antibodies to leukocyte antigens and the infusion of biological response modifiers from the donor. Infusion of either is thought to activate neutrophils and other inflammatory mediators that cause damage to pulmonary and vascular endothelium, which leads to migration of neutrophils and proteins into alveolar space. This migration and accumulation of proteins pulls fluid and causes inflammation inside the alveolar space that leads to pulmonary edema and acute respiratory distress. Trolley has been associated with transfusion of blood components from female donors. With human leukocyte antigen and human neutrophil antigen antibodies. It has been found that an increased prevalence of human leukocyte antigen antibodies is in female blood donors with history of pregnancies. There are actually some labs that can be done in advance um, of transfusion in order to prevent trolley. Uh, anti-human leukocyte antigen and anti-human leukocyte neutrophil antigen screening can be done on the donor's blood. Uh, three types of diagnostic procedures can be done. One is CDC, complement dependent cell cytology, another one AHG CDC, anti-human leukocyte CDC, and FCHM, flow cy cytometric based indirect immunofluorescence. And also in the patient, transient leukopenia can occur after the transfusion with trolley. So some, there are some characteristics that can differentiate trolley from TACO. Um, temperature can be elevated in trolley and temperature will not elevate in taco. Blood pressure will be low with trolley and with taco blood pressure will be high. White blood cell count, uh, so transiently in trolley the white blood cell will be low whereas in taco there will be no changes to white blood cells. And response to diuretics, so in trolley, uh, trolley will 
might respond minimally to diuretics or might not at all, it might worsen. Whereas in TACO, uh, the response to diuretics will be quite significant. So again, signs and symptoms of trolley is acute respiratory distress, hypoxia, hypotension, fever and chills, cough, bilateral pulmonary edema. Uh, it's important to note that trolley is a life-threatening complication. Now, interventions that will need to be performed in order to treat trolley is respiratory and volume support, oxygen therapy with or without mechanical ventilation, pressor agents uh, to support blood pressure, uh, of course, notification of licensed independent practitioner and the blood bank, and ventilator pressure support um, might be necessary. Also, judicious um, fluid administration not to um, overload the patients and lead to complications of uh, uh, complications of trolley. So nowadays, in order to prevent uh, trolley. Uh, Blood centers reduce the amount of plasma from the female donors, especially from those who had uh, multiple pregnancies. So it is just plasma that is being reduced in collection. So you have just made it to the end of the video. If you found the video useful, please click that like button. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you for watching, and I wish you great success.